Now that we have discussed about the different types of quadrilaterals and its properties, let us solve some examples. Let us look at example number one. Now the question here is a triangle and a parallelogram are on the same base and between the same parallel lines. What is the area of the triangle if the area of the parallelogram is 48 square centimeters? And the given answer options are 36 square centimeters, 24 square centimeter, 16 square centimeter and 20 square centimeter. Well, this is a very standard question from quadrilaterals and if you know the theorem or if you know the point here, you can answer this in about no time, right? It just takes uh, one to two seconds for you to mark the answer if you know what the property behind uh, this question is. Now, what does the question say? A triangle and a parallelogram are on the same base and between the same parallel lines. Let's understand what it actually means, right? It says uh, the triangle and the parallelogram have got the same base. Let's say this is the base of the triangle, right? Now, let's 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 construct a parallelogram right so this is a parallelogram right and a b c d are the what is this right so a b c d is a parallelogram now what is the base here a b is the base of the parallelogram let us take the same base for a triangle and the triangle has to be between the same parallel lines which means if you take any point on the side c d right let's consider this point and construct a triangle right so what do we see the triangle, let's say this point here is, uh, uh, you know, P. So the triangle ABP and the parallelogram ABCD are between the same two parallel lines and they've got the same base. What is the base here? AB. Now in such a case, the area of a triangle will be half of the area of the parallelogram, right? Whenever a triangle and a parallelogram are on the same base and between the same parallel, uh, parallel lines, then the area of the triangle is half of the area of the parallelogram. And it can be any point uh, on this parallel side, right? It need not be just point P. Let's say this is point P1 and take any other point there, P2. What is the triangle that we get? A, P2, B. Now the area of the triangle A, P2, B will be half of the area of the parallelogram A, B, C, D. Or we can say the area of the parallelogram A, B, C, D will be twice the area of the triangle uh, A, B, P2, right? Or it can be the point C itself. If you construct a triangle like this, right? The triangle A, B, C, the area of the triangle ABC will be half of the area of the parallelogram ABC. So simple point here, when a triangle and a parallelogram, like the question says, are on the same base and between the same parallel lines, then the area of the triangle should be half of area of the parallelogram, right? So in such case, just remember, area of the triangle will be half of the area of the parallelogram, there, right? So if you know this point, it doesn't take any time for you to mark the answer. Now the question says area of the parallelogram is 48 square centimeters. So what should the area of the triangle? Half of 48, which is 24. So the question, uh, the answer for this question here is option B, 24 square centimeters.